With another season coming to an end and the Pro League finals happening just yesterday, we're all, as usual, looking forward to the next new season. We've had the reveals for the new operators, Knock and Warden, and also a showcase of the re map rework cafe, and these are really cool bits of content. I'm definitely very excited to play them. But one thing that has been on my mind over the last couple of seasons is whether season desync is actually causing a little bit of a problem at times like this. Now what I mean by season desync is the fact that since Operation Wind Bastion, the Pro League operators and map selection has always been a season behind that of the base game. So for instance, Nomad and Kaid have only just started being used in Pro League as of the introduction of Mozzie and Gridlock, and Mozzie and Gridlock will start being used in this upcoming season Operation Phantom site. And I found specifically during Operation Wind Bastion, this really put me off the game in a way. I felt a lot less hyped about the characters because they had very little impact on the main game. And I feel that was heavily influenced by the lack of these characters in Pro League. During that season, it was still Maverick and Clash being the newest characters available. So yes, the meta was developing around some strategies using those two, but they were very situational characters. But the lack of Nomad and Kaid gameplay in the Pro League meant that not many people really knew how to use them properly. So the odd couple of times you would see someone playing either of these characters, they weren't often changing how you played the game or how you had to approach certain objectives. They just sort of had a small presence and you quite often got amused by people not quite understanding how to use their gadgets. However, when the most recent operation came out with Mozzie and Gridlock, I found Nomad and Kaid a lot more appealing as characters and I was a lot more interested in playing them. And I think that was because finally people had been able to watch Pro League, see how these characters can really be used to their maximum potential and really get the most out of them. And that's what made them more interesting. There were new strategies that can develop around this. I personally have found Kaid really entertaining to play, especially on Oregon. Kaid tricking the hatch into basement has been one of my favourite strategies this season. And I found myself a lot more interested in playing Nomad, whereas previously I didn't really see a reason I would play her. And I'm not sure whether this is actually to the detriment of the game or not. There are some benefits and drawbacks to this. The main drawbacks, as I've said, is that it does cause people to lose interest in some of the new content quicker, because the new characters aren't available in Pro League, so people don't see the best way to use them, so there's not as much of an evolution of the meta. However, as time goes on, just one season later, the meta will somewhat develop as the previous season's operators get added in. So the meta will gradually still be developing as it was before. However, it's just one season out of sync. And another benefit to this is that actually it does mean there's a little bit more stability. There's a little bit less craziness, which perhaps allows players to actually focus on improving their own skill. However, some players might be slightly disappointed, especially if they paid for the season pass, that they don't actually get much out of these new characters until an entire season further down the line. And it actually feels quite strange to myself thinking that, yes, there's a new season coming out, but one of the things I'm most excited for is how Gridlock and Mozzie are going to change the meta, because I think Mozzie especially could be really impactful this season. But another area that this also does cause some problems is actually also with the map pool. With the upcoming changes to Ranked, where we have Pick and Ban, a reduced map pool, and only the bomb game mode, we might find that the gameplay on these maps becomes a little bit stale. I have, at times, actually missed playing Tower, which is probably a little bit of Stockholm Syndrome going on there, but I found that sometimes having a map which is unbalanced or not necessarily the most fair map to play. Sometimes playing that can be really satisfying if you manage to pull it back. Having that odds against you and managing to pull through it can be really fun. It equally can be very annoying if you lose a rank because of that, but at the same time, it has a little bit more variety to the game, which makes you then appreciate some of the more stable maps. And I feel that when new maps are released, if they then aren't included in the Pro League map pool and the rank map pool the next season later, it means that the map pool is going to dry up and there's no evolution of the meta on the new map. So eventually we're still playing the map that we've been playing for two odd years now, which can cause a little bit more problems. But if anything, what this shows me is that the Pro League itself has been absolutely instrumental to this game's development. Even for an average player like myself, it's very relevant, and also I just found it really entertaining. If you are interested, the Pro League finals that were played yesterday, the absolute grand final, I would say is definitely worth watching. I'll have a little annotation on the top corner of the screen, in case any of you want to go and watch that now. It is a bit long, but it is very entertaining. Some really good plays are made all around. But I'm interested to hear what everyone else thinks, because whilst I personally think some of the new content can become a little bit stale, especially when people don't quite know how to maximise the new operators, or the maps never get the chance to develop by never entering Pro League rotation, by keeping the meta stable in Pro League, it may actually help the game's health overall because of how impactful it is on the way we play the game. Maybe only time will tell. But if you've enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing if you want to see more. This has been the guy from the Gamertag, and I'll see you on another video.